What's up, Capstone family? This is Ed Drummond coming at you on this Friday, the 19th of August, 2022. Uh, thanks for chiming in, subscribing, and uh, liking this video if you do. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, it definitely helps with making these things every single week. Sometimes it feels daunting as to, wow, what am I going to talk about this week? Uh, fortunately, the Phoenix market uh, does not fail to disappoint in giving us more uh, interesting things to talk about on a weekly basis. Uh, in addition, uh, you know, here at Capstone, if you uh, happen to notice the emails or anything that went out for yesterday, uh, yes, there were a few of us still in here in the office. However, the office was closed for the day, uh, mental health day, as well as getting things in line here in the office. Uh, if you come back um, and you've been here in our bullpen here in the back area, uh, it is drastically improved upon what uh, the team was using before. Uh, we've got uh, desks with risers so people can stand. It's a really sexy looking layout. I'm super excited about it, uh, as well as the team. And there was, today was their first day back and experiencing that. Uh, so yes, if you were trying to reach us yesterday, you probably got us live. However, for the most part, we were closed and that was uh, unusual for us for Thursday, which is kind of cool. Um, in addition, so this week, let's talk about some numbers. I had an opportunity to hang out with some uh, individuals that I admire quite a, quite a, uh, a lot here over the last week. And uh, one in particular um, gave me some feedback that ties into what I think we're seeing in these numbers. But let, let's, let's jump into something here real quick. Um, I'm looking at the numbers on our page here. And again, uh, this is the stuff that uh, tells me a little bit about, you know, what's what's really going on in this market. And what we're seeing is these listing counts are starting to taper off at the top here, right? And this is all of the MLS, everything in the MLS that is currently active. These are HUD homes, REO homes, uh, you know, bank owned. Um, these are uh, normal listings. And it even includes mobile homes, it includes condos, it includes all of it. Uh, as you see, back in the May time frame, and I mean, we go to this one a lot, we saw this huge shoot up here in, in June. And what we're seeing is now it's starting to taper off, which is great because we need to see this tapering off. It's getting lower and lower with the amount of actives that we see in this spread. Uh, was chatting with somebody this week who uh, has worked a lot with some of these REITs that we've been talking about, that we're going out there and buying up all these houses, right? And uh, coincidentally, in this same time period where we're seeing this, if properties were closing in the June time frame, which we were talking about, we were starting to see the pressure of appraisal starting to squeeze in on us in that June time frame. However, these REITs got out of the market during this surge. So when you see these little jumps like this, I wonder of these big jumps, right? how much of that was actually just due to them not purchasing houses anymore? How many REITs are there? I know there's at least a handful, five to 10 solid REITs that we're buying, thinking of you know purchasing 100 plus properties per month. What did that do to the market? How did that add to these active listings because they were no longer purchasing? So that's one thing. So I think now that we're through that, and they're kind of sitting on the sidelines waiting to buy again, what's that gonna look like moving forward when they see that, hey, things are starting to stabilize, which it looks like they are. So now we get into contract ratios, and yes, contract ratios are way down here compared to where they were in these crazy, but look, look at what they call these over here. This is the insanity market. And remember where we were here in April of 2021, we hit this maximum threshold that we've never seen before. Anything that you put on the market, it didn't matter what kind of pictures were out there, it didn't matter you know, what you did to market it, this is what it took to get those things done. So yeah, we're getting back to a market where we're gonna have to start paying attention to time on market, how things are being marketed, availability, how we show them, all kinds of things. And this is just, it's back to normal, right? Back to the basics. Um, monthly average lease price, look at this, this is again, We've been trending this, but now we see this huge spike up. Is that an anomaly? Is it not? There is a uh, interesting perspective looking at the MLS. Now the MLS is needed 
to rent out more properties, especially on the high end, right? You need as much exposure as possible. For the, for the stuff that's less than, call it $2,500 a month, $2,000 a month, eh, they're still moving relatively quickly because the demand is so far out there now, or there's so many people looking for it. When you get to the high end stuff, you, we tend to look at the MLS. So I wonder if this number right here, average rent price per square foot is just because the stuff that's renting is the, the super high end stuff. Not sure, but I have it, I'm speculating. Uh, percent of closings with seller paid. Um, this is, is kind of where it's been, but again, it's still moving up. Uh, this is the creative financing that is getting properties sold right now. Instead of you doing a price reduction, now there are options where you could offer 25% of that price reduction in cash as incentive for somebody to purchasing where they can use that as a buy down for their mortgage rate. And if somebody talked to you about mortgage rates on Monday, the numbers are not the same today. And that's super interesting. Last night, I thought I was coming with some knowledge to my wife talking about interest rates uh, because somebody told me something and I was like trying to regurgitate it like I thought I was smart, right? And I was like, oh yeah, the rates are at this. And she goes, no, they're not. And I was like, oh, uh, guess, I guess I'm wrong. She told me what they were. And again, I can't talk about rates on this because that's, I guess it's illegal or something. But uh, yeah, rates were like a half a point higher than I was quoting. She was like, yeah, well that rate that you're talking about is when somebody buys it down with one point. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. So I stopped talking. Uh, cool, under contract, look at what we got here. It's coming down. So we've got this average list price per square foot. Again, what's happening in this market? Uh, stabilization, um, we have buyers. As of this week, we're seeing more buyers out there and these numbers don't yet reflect that, but we're seeing more buyers pick up the phone and contact saying, hey, it's time for me to do something. People are, it's stirring again. It's starting to get, get hot again, which is, is a little bit interesting. I won't say hot, but I'll say, hey, at least people are getting off the fence and they're just start realizing that, hey, I need to get something done sooner than later because it doesn't look like the market's just gonna collapse on its head like everybody said it was going to. Closings above list price. Here we've got some good numbers here. I think that's also helpful. Um, let's see. Uh, and then this one, okay. Days of inventory. We've got a, a two more than a two month supply. So if you're putting your house on the market right now, the odds of it selling in less than a month are significantly less. I think right now they said something like 25% of houses are getting offers accepted within one week. The rest are not, right? So yeah, whereas before we were at like 100% in the first couple of days, now we're down to 25% are getting offers within the first week. I wonder what that's gonna look like moving forward. However, this doesn't look that bad. I mean, we're, we're, we're not back to look right here. I think this is the uh, days of inventory. That's the running days of inventory. So, I mean, we're starting to match that. So there we are. Um, and okay, this is the one that people are talking about in the market right now. We've got number of price changes per week. That's come down. They say that as that just shoots up, the market is compressing and we're getting you know more houses on the market buyers are jumping out faster, things aren't closing fast or, or getting offers fast enough. However, since the last time we've looked, we're looking at the price cuts are coming down, which is good, which means that people aren't dropping the prices as much as they were and things are moving probably better than, than they had been in the past. Again, all these price drops, people were grossly overpriced um, there is that one property that I keep bringing up every video that an institutional buyer purchased from one of our sellers. And it is at this point, it is on the market for less of a net to our client than they paid for it, uh, that, or than she got, basically. So yeah, now they have definitely lost quite a bit of money on that transaction. It's just interesting to see, hey, what's that going to look like moving forward? Cool. I hope this information is helpful. Um, I love talking about real estate and you know, I, I, I talked a little bit about it this week and the piece that I love about this the most, um, Capstone is, is the, the team here is amazing. Um, there are always going to be things that we can do to improve. And this isn't me apologizing for anything. This is me just being genuine with you and saying, hey, if you ever have feedback, um, I would love it because um, the positive feedback sets 
it really, really helps the team out considerably, especially when you name them directly. If there's something that you think we can improve upon, I definitely take that into account as we're shifting our systems, our processes. Um, we're gonna be working with a fractional CTO so that we can really start dialing in these systems significantly more than uh, they are. And again, we, pay, we use some pretty heavy hitting systems for the type of company, for the size company we are. So bringing all of these things together to be able to communicate will only help the team out more, right? And only help you out more. Happier team means they're gonna be able to service your stuff better and really more efficient and just be on top of it. So again, any feedback that you ever have, I love to hear it. Uh, even if you think my videos suck, let me know why. And hey, let me see what I can do to improve upon those. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, have a great weekend if I don't get the chance to talk to you. And I look forward to seeing you soon. See ya.